Extraordinary news from the Gold Coast ahead of tomorrow night's NAB AFL draft with the Adelaide Crows relinquishing picks 20 and 54, effectively a concession of defeat over the Kurt Tippett affair. We are expecting, of course, more penalties for the Crows when they front the AFL commission next week. But Adrian Anderson says this will be taken into account, although he does say that this isn't a total admission of guilt from the Adelaide Crows. I think the key point at the end of the day is Adelaide have recognised and decided it's appropriate as a gesture of goodwill that they don't participate in the first uh, their first two selections at this draft and they should be given credit for that. Is that accepting guilt then Adrian that, that they've done wrong? No, not necessarily Steve. I think the way Adelaide's described it is that yeah. this is a gesture of goodwill. They see it's an appropriate uh, move and something that you know, I can say to the Commission that I think should be taken into account in their favour. Now, with Crows Chief Executive Stephen Trigg in the spotlight over this whole affair, the Crows were represented today here at the CEO's meeting on the Gold Coast ahead of the draft by their list manager, David Noble. He was on the phone when he came out of the meeting, so we weren't able to get a comment from him. In terms of the ongoing investigation into the Crows, well, investigators are still looking at the books and Adrian Anderson hasn't ruled out the potential for more charges. Uh, that's yet to be determined, so the guys have been working through uh, the documentation and there's no final resolution on that. Adrian Anderson there. Now, of course, as we mentioned, the CEOs did meet here today. There have been a couple of new bits of information on a broader front to do with the tribunal, and there is going to be a crackdown on sliding and also stomping in 2013, and also those pesky bad records that the players do get quite upset about from time to time. Well, the significance of them has been diminished. The bad record now will only carry over for two years instead of three. That is our report from the Gold Coast for now. Of course, the draft coming up tomorrow right here on afl.com.au.